The Bible says that here's this woman all in an uproar, emotional, broken, angry. Every kind of emotion you can think of was happening right there in those few verses in that, inside that woman. See, you're not the only one that has those kind of days. Come on. Yeah. The days where you feel like you've been abandoned, rejected. You're angry. You're alone. You don't know. You can't see tomorrow. You don't see how you're going to. But the Bible says that Elijah begins to speak to her. And he says this. He says, tell me what you do have in your house. She says, what do you mean? I just told you I had to sell everything. I have nothing. I need to know, do you have anything left in your house? The only thing I do have is this little jar of oil. But you understand that it's not enough to do much with. I can make one cake and I can, me and my son can eat and then look out, there's nothing left. The Bible says that as she begins to talk to him about that little bit of oil, that he looks at her and he says, this is what I want you to do. I want you to leave where you are. You and your sons, go to all the neighbors. Go to every place you can find. Knock on the doors. Walk into the businesses. Go to the yard sales. Do whatever you can do. For the donations, but just go in and get all the vessels that you can find and bring them back to this house. Now I stop right there because see in the word of God, vessels represent people. And so when I began to read that, I began to hear the Lord saying this, not just go and get a vessel, but go and find people. And so I stopped as I was reading that and I stopped to look as, as close as I could to the word because I wanted to know what kind of vessels. Was he specific about the vessels that he needed her to go and get? And all that I could see was the word told that the prophet told her, go get all the vessels you can find. Yeah. He didn't say what color how big, how much they needed to hold. All he said was go and find the vessels and bring them back. And this is the voice that I hear today. God is saying, Connie, go out, speak to every kind of male and every kind of female. Hallelujah. I don't care what color they are. I don't care what nationality they are. Hallelujah. Somebody's going to answer to God. 
God for that.